NVIDIA surpassing Microsoft and Apple in market value. Now the most valuable company in the world, NVIDIA. Take a look at the stock year to date. As we see, uh, the NASDAQ was up yesterday, but the whole market was really lifted by these chip stocks. Uh, Ryan, NVIDIA's chart is, that's a beautiful chart. Isn't that a beautiful chart? And I think it's no coincidence that Adam's got an even nicer pocket square than usual this morning because I know he owns <laughs> NVIDIA uh, and Thank he's you, been sir. raking it in. Thank you. Um, yeah, it's remarkable. It is now worth $3.33 trillion, just above Microsoft at $3.31 trillion. And, you know, kind of the drum I've been beating here is it's starting to look a lot like the late 90s, early 2000. And symbolically, back then, Cisco suppressed Microsoft as the number one company in the S&P 500. And at that time, they were kind of the backbone of this whole, uh, you know, data and, you know, basically fueling the Internet at that time, just the way today AI is being fueled by these chips by NVIDIA. So the question I think it's is... it's a good analogy. Mm. Yeah. I, I think it's a real analogy, but using mm. that analogy, it could get crazier here mm. um, and price get a lot higher. Remember, I always say Cisco actually topped out 200 times forward earnings... What are you moving on? Like 50 times forward earnings now? On, uh, it's uh, trading Nvidia? right now at 45 times earnings mm. forward. Right. Forward, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm sure you're checking it every second. <laughs> oh, but see where it trust is. me. <laughs> um, but this also makes me think about, too, is if you look at the S&P 500 on a uh, current P ratio, 23 times, yeah. during the tech bubble, it got to 28 times, which if this mirrors that, and I think history does tend to rhyme, maybe not repeat, we're going to 6,500 on the S&P. Hmm. Uh, and I think that's realistic here. I think, you know, we talked about this before, but the Fed most likely will at least cut once this year. I see this with lots of clients walking in the door. They're sitting with way too much money in cash. We get that $6 trillion in cash. At some point, if you see your 5% rate go down, where's that money going to go? It's going to go to the hottest part of the market where all the momentum is, and that's a lot of these big mega cap AI names like NVIDIA, Microsoft, Apple, which could just fuel this rally a lot higher.